Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mina Nam Anjali Hey. And today we're going to watch Prime Minister Modi shares a video of Modera Sun Temple on a rainy day. And we've seen a lot of temple videos. Yeah. Anjali and I um, really enjoy learning about the temples. Um, some of them have such amazing architecture, the way the buildings line up with the sun, the one that yeah. the sun goes down in sections mm -hmm. in the window. Um, the secret doors, I mean, hidden gems, they really are. Yeah. Um, and some of them are so beautiful. Um, can't wait to come to India yeah. when this coronavirus is over and people can travel freely again. Um, we would love to go. There's so many temples. There are so many things. Like, we would love to go all over India, but not even in a year we could do that. Yeah, I think we'd have to move there. And I think we would have to live there yeah. to really get the full feel of what India is. And to get to see as many places as we want to see. Our list keeps getting longer and longer. But these temples, the architecture, the science behind it, the engineering behind it. When yeah. um, the sculptures, oh my god, the sculptures beautiful. are beautiful. And back when we felt like there were really good tools, there weren't big machines, took years and years and years to build them. They make these amazing sculptures out of like a hammer and a chisel. Yeah, and one piece of stone, or like yeah. the um, temple that's built Carved in, in the yeah. mountains. Like, they are unbelievably beautiful, and that they're still around today shows you how well they were built, that mm -hmm. thousands of years have gone by. Um, some of them have been destroyed and rebuilt, we know, um, from different invaders, yeah. but the ones that are there have withstand, you know, heat and monsoons and yeah. earthquakes and everything, and still standing, and yet we have stuff now that you know, doesn't make a hundred years sometimes before it falls apart. So it's just amazing to see these. Yeah. And this, my husband was saying, all of the temples have some kind of well system um, so that in case of a drought, that there's still some way for people to get water if they need it. And some of the ones that are shown on here are really pretty. Like we have reservoirs for water, but it's like, a dam like a mm -hmm. area they section off there's no there's nothing pretty about it it's looks like a small lake and you, and there's like a building that kind of um, filters the water and sends it yeah. to whoever needs it when nothing we, like this nothing like this and these are like beautiful in the way that they've made it so that you can go down the different steps mm -hmm. and depending on where the water level is and um, it's just so well thought out for something that you think is so simple like yeah. you know but something that everybody needs so we're gonna watch Modi's video of the temple in Garat ready yep that's Was it that was it i think i could watch that all day long yeah i mean the scenery was beautiful 
And there were so many, like, intricate things that the Mm -hmm. designers had to think about. Like, where was the rain going? How do people go down it? Will there... How far is the rain going to go up? Right. And it seemed like some of the spots where the steps were, where you would actually step down to get water, Mm -hmm. was different than the way they had the water flowing down. Yeah, the water flowing down, there was, like, crevices right there. Mm -hmm. And the water went down, kind of like a waterfall. Yeah, it was really pretty. Um... That's the first one I've seen. The ones that I looked online were a little bit more... Um, they still looked pretty. Like, I haven't, I haven't ever seen that where you walk down the steps. Yeah. But this looked like an intricate part of the temple as well. And then to have the different colored the stones. Ones, yeah, and the ones we saw online looked more new. Mm, that's true. Definitely. This one more looks like an old cultural temple. That right. you have all the Long big um, structures and the big designs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as part of the well. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to find out when it was uh, built. Yeah. Because, but beautiful. So, another place we have to write on our bucket list when we come to India. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. These things, like I said, just amaze me at the architecture and the engineering that go in that happened, you know, hundreds, thousands of years ago. Yeah. Um and are still functioning, and are still beautiful, and haven't fallen apart, like, yeah, it's just amazing, and I feel like you don't get that today as much. Especially um, not here. Yeah, especially not here. But I feel like in India, once in a while, you'll hear, like, um, one of the, the temples going to be built with, like, natural stone, like the old school way. Yeah. Um, but they still have a lot of the, you know cranes and things that they Mm -hmm. can use but still going back to sculpting by hand and yeah made in india Mm -hmm. right yeah so we loved this and um keep sending us temple videos um ones we haven't done because we like to learn about new ones yeah new new things so hope you guys enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe and join the wonderful growing jan family and we'll see you tomorrow Bye. bye